guys, Betsy here with Unique Paper 15. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I hope everybody has had a great week. I am hoping this video gets up soon, not months after it has been filmed, but I am really excited. I got some goodies in the mail and I wanted to share them with you. So let's do it. Some are some simple things, some are really great. So anyways, uh, first thing is Amazon. I got a really good warehouse deal on this post-it tape that you use for masking. I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with it. Um, I typically use these little mini masking, um, or post-its I should say, because the whole entire thing is stick. But I wanted to try this because I see a lot of you using it. So I got it for $2, which is a really good deal. It's normally in the $4 range. So I got that, okay. Not that exciting, I know. I got some other stuff from Amazon that I can't show. Well, maybe I can. Let's see if it'll reach. Oh, maybe it will. Okay, do you guys know what Vornado is? I hope so. If you live in Florida, you might. Vornados are these amazing fans that actually circulate the air in a room. Like, wow. We have the, um, I guess the industrial strength one that we had kept outside for when my husband was doing his carpentry. And we brought it in the house when our AC broke and we didn't even try to get the AC fixed for like three days because that one fan just kept us cool. It's amazing. So this is the personal size and they had them in the warehouse deals the other day at a really good price um, just to give you like a range. The fan that we have, um, the Vornado for the outside is $160. The one for inside is $100. These guys are typically less money obviously they're their personal size but just to give you an idea of how well they work so um this is i got this from amazon for a really good deal i got it for 12 dollars. you guys check out the warehouse deals check out today's deals they always have something good so anyways got this guy just to kind of keep me cool up here in the loft all right now i want to show you what i got mama elephant i got in the little monkey agenda guys and i'm sure you guys have been seeing these everywhere so i went ahead and stamped out a few sheets to send out to some people so you have the little like kind of dancing monkey the shy monkey the birthday the banana leaf the vine the walking the popcorn the tambourines the banana the balloon i guess he's like a magic one like a prince maybe? The birthday one, the heart, the sign, and then he's doing like aerobics here or circus stuff. <laughs> I can't think of the word. <laughs> he's doing stuff here. And then <laughs> the monkey who's trying to read, I think that is so funny. The photography monkey, the super monkey, and the banana cell phone monkey. So this is just a repeat. I just put them in my stamping thing and went chick, chick, chick and did like a few sheets of them to send out. So they are adorable. And for those of you who know me, monkeys are my thing. That is my son's nickname. Monkey, 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 monkey. So I ended up getting the monkey dye, face dye, and then one serves as a tail and they both are also the tracks so you can move things around. So uh, the sliders, I should call it. So, so far I've just been playing around and I made a pink monkey, a brown monkey, and here's their little tails, a dark brown monkey, a dark brown and brown monkey, and then another light one, and then a light pink. And you see they give you different configurations. So you have the squinty eyes, and then you have the funny smile here. You have the squinty eyes and the little smile, and then, um, you have the normal eye with I did him blinking. That's supposed to be the smile, but I did him blinking. And then, or maybe it is supposed to be a blink. I don't know. And I use it as a smile. Don't know. I did what I wanted to do. And then this guy, I ended up cutting this flat to give him kind of a different look altogether. So a lot of fun. I'm not done with the cards yet. I just wanted to get some made to show you guys 
you know, what this dye looks like. I highly recommend getting this. It's worth the money if you are a monkey lover. It was so worth every penny. It's not expensive. I'm just saying it's good to have in your stash. So I made a ton of monkey faces. So <laughs> don't be surprised when you get one in your mailbox. And by the way, I see I have some new subscribers. Thank you, ladies. I am so, like, you got all of you make my day when I see the new subscriber. We're like, yay, yay, yay. Don't forget, I love to exchange letters and do happy mail and just even just write letters, exchange cards. So hit me up on Instagram if you would like to possibly, you know, exchange a letter, a card, or something, you know, a paper craft. I would love to get to know all of you a little more. All right. Next, um, let's go to my other stuff. Okay. I finally got an order in from Pink Fresh, and it was this stamp set here, which was on clearance for $4.50. And you guys might think that this looks familiar because it does. Let me show you why it looks so familiar. Okay. Do you guys know that's that stamp, ah, sticker set from them? It's really like Pink Fresh ish. You know them? This is like their bird, their rainbow, their dream on. This is like all the stuff that um, you've probably seen in stickers. So they have a stamp set for it. So I figured why not just buy the stamp set for 450, really good deal. You have this really cool looking like sun, the bird, the flowers, which I really like those flowers. Some sentiments, own your own happy, happy thoughts. Some really nice flowers here, dream on. And then you are, is more important, being who, the best, amazing things, dare to dream big, capable of, part of my day. And then you have some phrase boxes, some more greenery. There is always a rainbow. And then a solid cloud in your rainbow. That's a lot, 26 stamps for 450. You guys go check out Pink Fresh Studios. If, um, if they're still available, they're all on clearance. Okay. So I had shown it in another video that I finally got the dyes from Pink Fresh. And it's so crazy because I got this stamp set like two months ago. But I was finally able to play around and cut everything I needed for their stamp set. And I'm telling you, I've had this stamp set now for like over two months. And every time I went to buy the die, they kept saying it was sold out. So finally got it and I've just been playing around and having a lot of fun using dies from other sets, um, using my scan and cut, just making what I wanted. And it's a lot of fun, you guys. But the one thing I definitely would recommend if you guys have this, if you're not doing it already, is I'm triple embossing the eyelashes because that's the only thing like you'd have a hard time giving dimension to. So I'm stamping it in black, embossing in clear. Stamping in black, embossing in clear. And I do it three times so that I get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of dimension on the lashes. That's that. Okay. I got this from eBay. This lady was selling a bunch of stamps and I don't know who makes it, but I wanted to share this. I thought, let me get a piece of paper. I thought this was the cutest stamp set. All right. And I just got it. I also got some ribbons too. So there's like a little girl a boy, a squirrel, a mushroom. That's really what got me was the mushrooms. A deer, just random stuff. But is that so cute? So I'm really excited. I've been shopping a lot on eBay. And then look at the little bee and the hedgehog. So cute. Okay, so that guy. All right. I don't know if I shared this with you guys yet. If I did, forgive me. I am getting old. I don't know. My Stampin' Bella. I got the little tiny townie with the high, the pencil girl. Love her. The little gnomes, keep calm no matter what. The uh, Tale of Two Rosies. You have the camera and then her going on a walk, going on a journey. The um, Speedy Recovery, Edna to the Rescue. This one I absolutely adore. Rosie and Bernie. Love this one. And then I got the mushroom background. Actually, it's called the gnome backdrop, but you get it why I call it mushroom background. And I actually went ahead and I ordered another order from Stamping Bella because they did this thing 
like two or three days ago that was like 25% off of everything. I was like, what? So I went and ordered a lot. And I think I showed you guys this. My new Craft and Desert Divas. I have not used it yet, but again, it's all gnome And so you have this cute guy here, like Papa Gnome on top of the mushrooms. And then you have him carrying a little lantern and look how long his beard is. I just dig that, a mushroom. And then a little girl Nomi on top of like a dragonfly. Make no mistake. And then you have the gnome house. I think you're great. A little girl here hugging what I believe is like a squirrel or something. And then, hey, Nomi. I just think these are so cute. So there's that. If I showed you before, forgive me. I was having a problem with our videos. I didn't know which ones deleted, which ones we uploaded. So hang in there with me. Okay, then do you guys remember when Greeting Farms did that thing where they announced that the farmer's market, they were doing it different this time, that no matter who bought, you got it. You just had to wait because they were going to have it made for you versus farmer's market. We used to log in at midnight and like everything would be sold out by 1 a.m. So I finally got the Hatter set. Now it did not come with any type of like colored images and I apologize, but that's just the way it came. But um, if you guys are familiar with the greeting farm, there's the Hatters. So I am so excited. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight girls, boys, whatever. And then you get the teapot, teacup, teacup, teacup. And then you get um, mad about you. Uh, if, oh, let's party. I'm reading this backwards. Oh, happy day. Have a magical time. Um, hats off to you. And a very merry unbirthday to you. And that's it. So very cute. I cannot wait to stamp these out. I haven't even opened them because I wanted to show you guys. I always, I always like to do the video before I touch anything. So I like to keep it, you know, clean. Except the mama elephant um, monkeys. I have used that. Okay. Now I think I only have one more thing to show you guys and we'll be done. So let me show you. I went to a place that rhymes with Bally Press. <laughs> you guys know where that is. And I got these. I saw this girl on Instagram get them and she's, she put where she got them. And I was like, oh my God, I have to have them. Because I did my first embellishment box a couple weeks ago. I sent it to my friend Brianna. And I hope she likes it. I mean, it's my first time. But check them out, you guys. They're Hello Kitty. Is this so cute? So I that's why um, if you watch some of my other videos, you might see a lot of like small stuff, embellishments. I did a big haul from scrapbook.com. Uh, I went to Hobby Lobby and, and I have another big order coming in from Simon Says Stamp. But I'm ordering a lot of smaller things because I want to try to do these embellishment boxes. Um, my friend Karen's the one that actually turned me on to them. I had no clue what they were until she told me. And I thought, what a, what a great idea. So not only are you going to get this uh, embellishment box from me, but you're going to get a Hello Kitty with a handle. I think it's so cute. So I hope you guys like it, um, especially if you're the recipient. And like I said in the beginning to my new subscribers, if you don't know, I like to connect with everybody. So hit me up on Instagram. Let's exchange our addresses and send some either, you know, a card, paper craft, happy mail, whatever, you know, your level is. But that's it guys. That's all I have to share. I, I'm looking around and, uh, if I forgot it, that's okay. I'll share it next time. Thanks for stopping by. Please put down below uh, what you guys are like getting, what new stuff you're really wanting, what your favorite stuff is. And uh, that's it. If you haven't subscribed, please do, but definitely come back for more. Bye guys. Have a great day.